just uh, remove and relocate the monitors right i cannot add anything even the shadow from the hood longer cable the cable is for, from a large suv but the camera all the modules huge plus is going to be just a usb c to usb c out Hey guys, Mike is back with another video. This is a company set. I already unboxed it. I double chased it before I installed it. So today we're gonna install it and we're gonna take a look at all the details and small parts. This product is not available on the market right now. While I edit the video and upload it, and I put the links in the description, it's gonna be uh, crowd found it. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be on the Kickstarter or somewhere. So you're gonna able to pre-order this and while you're watching the video. So I'm gonna put all the links in the description. Let's take a look, let's install it. All right, so we have already, it's like a kind of challenge. This one is a too good to leave in the vehicle, right? It's gonna be like a cell phone. And I have a too much money towards here, so now I'm gonna figure out where it's gonna be the best spot to uh, install it. If I install right here, it's gonna be on my side eyes. It's gonna be there, but it's gonna be a little bit not great. So another option I can do right here under this, but everybody sees like from outside, I left this monitor, right? On the top, I don't have not much space and it's, I have to take my eyes a lot farther. So the, another part has to be here, but every time I leave, this is the best, best spot, right? When I'm driving, I can see it, but I cannot leave. Sometimes if I forget that, it's gonna be, looks so nice. I, I don't know, some people is gonna be wanting this. So last part for me, it's gonna be right here. You see, it uh, stays hide behind it. So most likely I'm gonna end up installing here. So I have my, uh, the camera system here and this is gonna be AR, so infrared signal. So we're gonna see it. Hopefully the wires is enough so I can run to there. So let's let's start the installation, right? So before I installation, I'm gonna show you something. Watch, 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 watch. I'm gonna show you something. Look at this, this is the camera itself, right? It's the camera itself. I have a, you can see it, right? Camera itself, I have a bunch of screws, plastic tapes, all that stuff. I don't want to scratch my hood when I install, but these guys are very nice and smart. They put the silicone on the bottom and top, so when you install to the vehicle, you're not gonna have any problems, you're not gonna scratch up your car. And also these screws, special screws, they install, they include it, as you can see, so nobody is gonna be able to remove it, and it's gonna be inside your, the hood. Another great stuff they added is this a silicone cover on top of your camera system, right? As you can see, you're gonna install like that. It's gonna be weatherproof and it's, it's gonna be very, very uh, tough because it's so much squishing and it's anything it hits is not gonna break the camera system. It's, thank you guys to uh, innovating this kind of stuff. All right, it goes all the way in here. You have to make sure you install very nice and correctly. And we're gonna stick to the hood. And as you can see in my unboxing video, I say that this is the wires is very nice and tough wires. So this is not just a rubber wire, it's covered from nylon on top. So it's weatherproof. I think it's gonna last many, many years. So let's do it. Let's do the installation and we're gonna come back here. First thing I wanna do is measure my hood and find the exact center. But I'm lucky I have a line here on my center of the hood, so I don't need the measurements, anything. If you have a flat hood, of course, you're gonna measure the middle and you're gonna install the middle. I end up installing right here because I can see very clearly the meters, uh, the, the distance and all the blinks is gonna be good. And I'm not taking my eyes too much through the, uh, from the road, right? If I install here, I constantly look into the side to side and I don't see uh, the measurements very clear. This guy sits nice and comfortable here. And you have two adjustments on the side right here. We can adjust it, but it, this is now the perfect location. And it's uh, very, very, sits very strong, like a three screws on the bottom. And you don't see any wires, anything like that. Only part I'm gonna redo it, this wire here. It's that, that's fine. It comes with this, all the stickers, all that stuff. In the module, this is, I have a fuse, fuse box here, huge. And the uh, video module, it sits here. If I need the service, anything like that, I just pop this out. And the module is right here, sits, so it's serviceable. All right, as you can see, it's a bright, bright daylight. We're gonna do the exact same thing at the night. 
but the front vehicle it shows exactly fits an upcoming vehicle also and the cross vehicle you see that it's picked up right away so anything you see on your eyes it picks up and it measures the distance and actually it's a DVR it records built-in record so it's, it comes with the DVR see that picks up the car and it shows when the car comes closer to you it's gonna be red if it's a green it means it's like just a safe so that all the cars is passing by and the cyclists I'm gonna try to find the cyclist so I'm gonna show you also you can mute the sound it's like blinking sound if you don't like it you just mute it so it's not gonna be just if, if you feel disturption but I like uh, the notification sound so if I see the deers I'm trying to go to the deer place so if I see the deers or anything like that it's gonna give me right away it's like uh, notifications you see that all the cars right away it's picking up it shows distance and it shows on the top what kind of object is that the cars it blinks at the car if it's a people the person we're gonna see it like passing by at the night you can see like very nice and clean and it actually detects the far away the cars and actually it shows like 250 feet and it's blinking if I'm, I'm gonna go to a darker place right now and I'm gonna turn off the, all the lights so you guys gonna see the difference now it's like that but this one is <laughs> that's a, one of the best items I install in my vehicle right now Watch this, it's detecting the car, right? Which car? Over there in the corner. Actually, you can drive looking at this. All the lights are off. Uh, actually, you can see the street. <laughs> this is nice. All right, there's the lights off. We're gonna see the person. Yeah, that's super clean, man. <laughs> Look at the, the cars. And the person detecting even the shadow from the hood you see this right there the shadow from the hood it shows yeah this thing is something else all right so now we have a busiest place as you can see how it's picking up everybody so, yeah. hey people what's going on a lot of people's living uh, this is how you're gonna see them Look at that, look at that. The built-in AI is like thinking, oh, this is going is crazy. But actually, this has, doesn't have a limit, so it's picking up it's all over the place. I installed it and here's my conclusion, right? So they added all the wires, everything, the screwdrivers, installation it was a super easy, nothing there to, you know, for, for the drilling or the splicing, anything. Everything comes with it, you know, the, all the tools necessary, it comes with it, with the tiny screwdrivers and the, all the stickers, I didn't use half of it, but you can fit it for the, any vehicle. Only the minus I find when, when I'm installing, so between the monitor and the, the module, right? Uh, the wire is a little short it it is like a one feet is two feet longer it's gonna be amazing another addition if you guys gonna launch the second product you guys gonna sell a lot of this right I don't know who's gonna use it but it's a lot of people's gonna use it campers gonna use it the truck drivers gonna use it the who's drives riders they they're gonna they're gonna use it right I wish you guys have two offers with the bigger screen and smaller screen smaller screen easy to hide easy to install and that, that's great uh, the second thing the, between the screen and the, between the module please guys for the next generation switch to USB-C so reason why I'm saying USB-C a lot easier to unplug and plug all right and I can run my own USB-C cable so for example I have a camper right I can install the monitor on the front and when I'm sleeping on the back or the camper is like of the dining areas I can stick to USB so I can switch the monitor to the back side so while I'm sleeping on watching TV I can have eye on the outside right with the infrared if I if I see the beers and walls all the stuff right it's gonna be another great option to just remove and relocate the monitors right another thing I can I want to add is for the most pro X plus version ones 
uh, if you guys, of course, maybe you, you guys developing already, right? Uh, if it's a camera, it's gonna be module with the joystick, I can turn like 360 degrees and I uh, saw on the top, it's gonna be right like day and night. It's gonna be like crazy. Uh, the unit so that's what i said based on the the products uh, the problems i couldn't find any only thing I'm, addition i want for the update you guys do the button where i can I, I couldn't find it where i can switch the screen brightness like monitor brightness uh, the monitor is at the night it's a little brighter for my taste so i can dim it down and at the daytime it's see it, it's like a nice and clean right just at the night time i want to switch it back so back to the camera right the camera is works surprisingly good uh, this is my first experience with the car infrared that kind of stuff the picks up everything right right away is the people dogs only times a couple times I see couldn't pick up the dog because it was uh, between the couple uh, the person or the people it's walking with the dog couldn't find it and after then it's find it so it's a very 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 weird, weird situation so the picks up very very good distance picks up very very good it's alarm it sometimes it shows red it means caution because that car is uh, swimming to your side or moving faster to your side or is not keeping the lane all that stuff it's uh, giving the caution all that stuff or anything crossing by it's going to be giving the right away caution right that's good another thing is interesting i find out at the night dark dark night it shows exactly the same like a day night right so that infrared camera is works like that. amazing and also the upcoming vehicles the high beam is a lot of times like a honda civics also like they, they running with the high beams right you you're getting blinded but camera doesn't change the monitor if the guys with the lights on without the lights or the high beams on doesn't matter picks up the distance shows that the vehicle the location all that stuff and it's it's without any problem so the lights upcoming lights for the camera is doesn't gives you any difference on the screen so that, that's very interesting the pitch dark and the dark is a hot air Areas, like uh, for the pole I, I see like 5g towers you can see it <laughs> right away it's like uh, the, uh, the white um, item I cannot add anything for addition that just uh, being the longer cable the cable is for, from a large SUV I didn't have any problems but if it's one feet longer or two feet longer it's good it's huge plus it's gonna be just a USB-C to USB-C out it's gonna be like a game changer next if you launch different monitors the bigger screen or smaller screen that's gonna be another huge huge plus of the camera all the module works the flawless I, I don't have any issues yeah this is my review for you guys hope this video helps you guys and out also in the next video if you didn't subscribe to my channel definitely subscribe it i'm going to bring a lot of interesting products and i learned a lot of stuff from my reviewers who's commenting actually giving a suggestion or teaching me that i learned a lot of stuff from my channel then i did the research myself so big thank you for my brothers there taking the time and commenting and giving the suggestions right hope this video helps again i'm out also in the next video just to smash the subscribe button and the thumbs up so algorithm is going to help me a lot i'm out